Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are on the streets of San Diego where we will be watching San Diego Gas and Electric do a process of dewatering a manhole using a filtration sleeve. Our participating utility is San Diego Gas and Electric and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now you can see we're on the streets of San Diego right around Halloween as witnessed by that pumpkin lawn and leaf bag. And as we move across the street, you see here this filtration sleeve down in the on the curb there. You'll see more of that in a bit. Here is the hose, and at the end of this hose is the pump that will go down into that manhole on the left, as this is where they need to do some dewatering. Now let's start with a shot of our crew at the on-site job briefing and safety meeting, and then our crew leader will describe the process. First things first is I always like to verify that uh, our location is correct and our structure ID is correct. Make sure we're in the, in the right place where we want to be. Uh, next, we're going to check the atmosphere, like we said at the tailgate. Make sure it's a safe environment for us to enter. We stick the probe down, bring it back up. Make sure there's no dirt, grime, or water in there. And now we're going to stick it in the hole. Let us sit for a little bit. All right, as of right now, the atmosphere is safe to enter. So from here, we're going to get our uh, manhole lifter, lid lifter, and uh, remove the lid. One of the first things I like to do is always take a look in the hole, make sure there's no hazard, excuse me, hazards that will uh, get to us later. Once it's uh, deemed safe, then we can go ahead and uh, install our pump into the hole because this hole is full of water. Can't really see all the way down to the bottom because how much water is in it. So, so right now I'm going to take a quick uh, read, check all the uh, infrared. <clears throat> of any lines that I can see, any high voltage lines that I can see in there, just to check the thermals. So far what I can see checks out good. Now those infrared readings are simply another safety measure done before any equipment or personnel can enter the manhole. You see the pump here that will be lowered into the manhole. You can see them working on the hydraulic fittings. There they are. This is a hydraulic pump that will attach to the truck, be run off of the truck. And here you see the pump being lowered down into that manhole to be dewatered. The switch is on this side, okay, so we gotta go in the middle. Mm -hmm. There you go. And now you'll see this orange rectangular control box that actually operates the hydraulic pump. You're gonna see a better shot of it here at his waist as we're looking down along the hose now and soon you will see the filter sleeve come into view you can see the water coming out of the filter sleeve even how clean that looks to the naked eye here is a closer shot of that filter sleeve again you're going to see that a little bit more in a moment and let's also take a look back down into the manhole to see what they see from up above And now as we come back out to the street level, let's listen to what they have to say about the filter sleeve itself. All right. At this point, I like to check the water, check the filter sock, make sure there's no leaks, make sure there's no particulates getting into our storm drains. This is a effective and efficient way to filter out all the particulates and oils and all the other nasty stuff that's in our manholes to make sure that uh, the water is clean, clear, and odorless going to our storm drain. And so with that manhole effectively dewatered, we can now remove the pump from the manhole, take away the traffic cones and traffic control, and our crew can exit the site. You have now seen our TND How video on dewatering using a water filtration sleeve. Our participating utility was San Diego Gas and Electric. 
This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.